So I'll be showing you guys the way the food processor works. Yeah, all the blades, I'll be using it one after the other to show you how it works and the outcome of each and every one of it. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how this food processor stroke and um, yam pando works yes i've been getting a lot of messages from my unboxing yes the unboxing i did um for this food processor i've been getting messages how it works i should tell them how it works and the rest i think one particular person was actually asking me if this food processor can actually blend um pepper smoothly and um, beans smoothly and I answered yes in the sense that this very food processor came with this. Yeah, it came with this for blending your pepper and for your beans. And believe me, I'll be showing you a clip of, you know, when I did my moi moi, the way it's, it's grounded it and it came out very smoothly. Yeah. And there's another video I'll be uploading to where I did them um, soya bean for my baby. Yes, this is the the dry the dry jar I used and it blended it perfectly well. Yes. So if you want to get a very smooth, 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 smooth pepper, you either use this, yeah, for your fresh um, um for everything fresh, then you use this for your dry ingredients, yes. This is for the fresh ones and this is for the dry. Then, as for this, which is the main food processor, yes, as for this jar, yeah, this one can give you, you know, there are a lot of, um, it came with a lot of blade. Yeah, it came with a lot of blade. So first of all, let me show you how to fix it. So this is how it goes. Like this then. You lock it if you don't lock it it will not blend yes so you have to make sure that okay you put this then you put this yeah it's locked now so this is it. the next thing to put is this yeah. so it's all set I'll be telling you guys how every of them works yeah all of them i've talked about the, the two jars yeah so this is the cover this is the cover and this is yeah so this is it so this very blade this is so this in fact this is really sh sharp you see this blade you're seeing here is very very sharp very sharp so please if you're handling it Handle it, handle it with care is very important. So this very blade can actually do a lot of things. Yeah, this very blade is what you can use to, you know, do your pando yam. Yeah, pound your yam. Yeah, you can use this blade for yam. Yes. Then you can actually use it for vegetables. Yes. You can use it for your vegetables. It can actually cut very well. Yeah. I'll be using this to, to cut my onion now. I want to show you guys how it can, what it can do. Yeah. Yes. So please remember, if you're handling this, it's actually very sharp. Yeah. So I have my onion here. So I'll be cutting this into four places. Let's see how. Let's see how it will. It will cut it. So close it. <laughs> so you can actually use this to cut your onion it's very easy yeah this is how the onion came yeah so really cut your onion very well so it came with five different cutter yes five different cutters so i'll be showing you guys how each and every one of it works yes 
I'll be trying them out with my carrots. I have carrots here. So I'll be using carrots to, you know, show you guys how it works. Yeah. So this is how you put it. And if you want to bring it out, you just press it. It will come out. Sorry about that. So let's, let's do it again. So we'll bring this one out. Please be careful with this bit. I'm like, I'm so scared. I want this to cut my knee and okay, this is it. So we'll be using this. Now. Put this. Then you put this. You remove this to put this. If you want to use this, this has to go up. Then So let's try with carrots. So let's see. So, this is actually good for salad. If you want to do salad, you don't have a problem too. You can actually use this even for cabbage. You can actually use it to cut every other, you know, so many vegetables. So many. This very blade, this very one, actually reminds me of this. You remember this, our hand um, grater? Yeah, this is exactly... It. So whatever you use in, um, you use this your hand, um, hand um, grater to do, this can do it, yes. Let's try another one. Let's try this or this. Which one? I think they look alike. They look alike. I don't know. Okay. This one, the blade is on top. Why this one, the blade is inside? Yeah, I really want to see how it goes. So let's try this one that the blade is inside. So I'll be using this onion to try that very blade. Yes, this goes up. So this one, what this one does is to, to blend the onion circle, in circle, yeah. So let's try the circle one. This is the second blade, the blade is on top, the sharp edge, that's what I mean by blade, is on top. The last one we did with the onion. The blade was in, yeah. So I'll be trying that with this carrot. Yes. Let's try with our carrots. So this is how this one came. Yes, the upper blade. Yeah. So this one is, is looking nice. Yeah, so you can actually use this one to cut your plantain chips. You can use it to cut your potato. Yeah, and you can actually cut it and it will be round. Yes, you will place it well, it, it will come out round, in round form. And it's flatter than the previous inner blade we just did. Try this final one. And see what it does. So I'll be trying this with the remaining carrots I have. So this is the tinier 
tiny one of of this yeah i noticed that this one and this one are actually the same just that their sizes are different so if you're blending with this it will give you a tinier result why this one will give you a bolder result this is what i mean this one is really tiny see tiny tiny it's tiny it gives you a tinier result okay this very one is used to knead a dough yes so if you're baking you know for your bones for anything baking if you put it in there it will need it well yeah it is used to knead a dough and it works wonders yeah so instead of you using hand you can actually use it and it comes out very smooth and perfectly well so far yeah this is there are a lot more we can actually do with this food process so you know we keep learning i keep learning every day trying things out you know yeah like um i wish i had more like more um stuffs in the kitchen to you know show you how i do these stuffs but i don't really do so thank you all for always stopping by to watch my videos i appreciate you guys this is the end of the video i'll be showing you guys how i grounded my beans and it came out well yes it will come up now so thank you guys i do appreciate you guys so if you want, like I said before, if you actually want to be um, blending and um, smooth stuff with your food processor, you have to buy the one that has blender, that has this, that, that comes with this. Because this is the only one, this is the one that can give you what? A very smooth, smooth, smooth paste, like paste-like um, pepper or paste-like um, um, beans. Yeah, there are much more you can do with your... Um, food processor like I said so get it if you can it's very nice yes yeah, very very nice so guys thank you guys if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please click on that subscribe button subscribe to my channel like my videos then I'll be putting in the link of my unboxing of the food processor yeah so that you will see exactly the things it came with yeah so Thank you guys and see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.